listen, I'm not going to do anything that hurts women. I'm a woman, okay? The author of that controversial birth control bill denies claims it will hurt Arizona women. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Waddell. And I'm Guy Atchley. A proposed new law has Arizona in the national spotlight. It would allow employers to deny insurance coverage for birth control if they object on religious grounds. And critics claim it would let employers fire women who abuse it. When Not In Your Side took these concerns, the co-sponsor of the bill, Terry Proud, last night, she told us to ask the measure's main sponsor, Debbie Lesko, so we did. Not on your sides, Craig Smith is just back from the state capitol with her answers. Guy, the proposed law here is working its way through the legislature just as the issue of coverage for contraception has become a hot topic for debate nationwide. Current law requires employer insurance plans to pay for FDA-approved contraceptives. Supporters say lifting the requirement is a matter of the employer's personal freedom. Opponents say the proposal takes away women's freedoms. Republican State Rep. Debbie Lasko wrote the bill. Listen, I'm not a Catholic. I do not have any moral objection to the use of contraceptives, but I respect the people that do, and that's what this is all about, protecting our First Amendment rights. Critics of the bill point out what people often call birth control pills are not just for preventing a pregnancy. Their hormones can treat other conditions. The bill says employers' insurance would cover those pills if an employee can prove they are for something other than contraception. Where does this fit in with medical privacy law where your employer mm -hmm. isn't exactly supposed to know what your ailments yeah. may be? Representative Lasko says a woman would not be forced to discuss her illness with a boss, just the insurance company. The bill would also remove wording in state law already on the books, including this key phrase. A religious employer shall not discriminate against an employee who independently chooses to obtain insurance coverage or prescriptions for contraceptives from another source. Lasko claims enemies of the bill are spreading lies that that opens the door for an employer to fire a woman for using birth control. My legislation does nothing of the sort. I can't even imagine where that's coming from. It, it must be spread by my opposition to try to, you know, cause fear and angst among women. Listen, I'm not going to do anything that hurts women. I'm a woman. Okay? And, you know, and so I'm not going to do anything like that. If the bill actually did some of these things that my opposition is saying it's doing, I wouldn't like it. Now that the bill's passed the House, senators like Tucson Democratic Senator Paula Abad will get their chance to vote on it. She sees the bill as an intrusion on women's rights, but knows Republicans have an overwhelming majority, so there's a good chance the bill will pass. If this makes it all the way through to passage, if the governor does go ahead and sign it, what recourse is left? Lawsuits? I don't know. I don't know. You know, the way we protect citizens in Arizona is through lawsuits because the Arizona legislature is not pr uh, protecting our vulnerable populations. And right now, women are a vulnerable population. They are under attack in this state and across this country. Senator Bowd says women should tell their lawmakers what they think of this bill. We did have a quick word with Republican Senator Frank Antonori. He is the majority whip, so it is his job to know how his party was, will vote, and he is confident the Senate will pass that bill. Now, the White House changed its stand on religious organizations being forced to cover contraception. Does that have anything to do with the timing of Lesko's bill? Well, Representative Lesko says that that helped raise awareness of the issue, but she says the Arizona legislature way back in 2003 passed a similar bill, but at that time, Governor Napolitano, who was governor at the time, vetoed it. Boy, this has ruffled a lot of feathers, hasn't it? Craig, thank you.